Hi everyone and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I wanted to share something that I've been working on. Um, I've been chatting with a lot of my friends, um, other crafters, other journal makers, and everyone said that they're having a hard time finding their mojo. Um, so again, I've been trying to um, do something creative every day. I've been keeping a little tiny journal. I'm just going to grab it here. I made these little journals in a video before, and it's just a little tiny one. It's about two inches by two inches, two and a half by two and a half inches. Um, and I just have been doing something creative every single day. Drawing a little drawing and posting it on Instagram, just trying to stay creative. Um, in on a smaller scale. Um, so what I've been doing is I did a paper swap. Um, I am a member of the Vintage Page Design Face Group, group page and um, we make hand bound journals and um, Ali does courses and we've been following along so a couple of us have been keeping in touch and I met Sharon Meeker through this group and we swapped some paper. And in my little paper batch, she sent me this absolutely adorable little journal. It's a mini journal charm. She's got a little jump ring on there. And this little journal does open up. And <laughs> it takes a little finagling, but um, it's got a little button on the front and some waxed linen thread. And you just unwind the thread if I can do that oh it's wrapped around twice that's why it's not opening just give me a second here and I'll open it up there we go <laughs> there um, you just she just wraps the thread along and it does actually open up and she's got paper on the inside here of the journal and now she has sewn these in to a piece of paper and glued that to the leather piece and I just love this little journal when she sent this to me I was just so thrilled to receive it and I wanted to make something similar so and I thanked Sharon for the inspiration told her how much I love my little journal um, I went through my stash I'm trying to use up anything that I have and I came across some little suede pieces it's I call it pleatherette it's um this was suede that I bought at a the Southampton market where I live they have all this had all this junk leather and stuff in a bin in the back and this was like a suede so I had a little scrap of that a little chunk of that I also had some black um, I call it pleatherette <laughs> again um, it's got more of a fabric on the inside than what I would say real leather has which has that nice soft hide feel and it's thicker these are thinner so I had some of this black and I also purchased some of this upholstery type pleatherette and this is a dark teal and then on the inside I have another one that's a lighter teal and I bought this huge roll when I was shopping with my sister probably two years ago and so I was using that as well and I was just cutting little one inch um, they're one inches wide by about three inches maybe two and three quarter inches so I have these little pieces as well and then I just went through my scrap bin and I was looking for some paper scraps and I came across this little box that I had <laughs> and this is paper that I used when I created some inserts for my fabric journals. Um, I created these fabric journals and I create, made these inserts and I printed these oops, I don't, and it's it's kind of thicker it's almost cardstock feeling a lightweight cardstock and I printed lines on some and blank on the other so I had these fabric journals and I made all these inserts so these were the cutoffs when I cut the paper down these were the cutoffs that were across the bottom of the insert pages that I made so I had a whole package of uh, container of those so I thought why not use this inside the journals it's a little sturdier so that when you wrap the journal up it gives it a little more stability than just paper so this is a little larger one that I was testing out so this is with the actual leather that I had I have a couple of scraps of leather that I received from a friend and this is, has the nice soft interior 
but it's thicker. So I wanted something a little thicker on the inside. So I've used this paper on all my inside all my little journals so that when you open them up, you have a nicer, sturdier paper to write on. So these are some of the journals that I've made and I posted them on my Instagram account and I've added the little, this is the only jump ring I could find. It's rather large, but it's it works. And I have a little button or butterfly charms on them. So I have the teal and then I have a whole bag of these little buttons I bought from a antique store. Um, so I've just been using those little buttons. So I have the teal ones, turquoise ones, um, some of these little brown suede and then I've created some of these little black ones as well. Now for these I've just used the button and again it just kind of the button just tucks underneath oops let me get a hold of it here underneath the string and you just slide it out and unwrap it. Now all I've done is I've actually sewn these right through the leather uh, instead of putting that little piece of paper inside. So it's actually shown, sewn right to the leather and it has the little booklet inside. And the paper's, like I say, a little bit thicker so it's a little sturdier for these. And then I've just used some wax linen thread, tied a knot there, added the button to the end and I've left it as a double, a double string. So that when you close it, you just wrap it around once, twice, and then just tuck the button underneath the strings. And I broke my thumbnail yesterday, so I can't get under <laughs> underneath the strings. There we go. <laughs> get under there. There we go. So it just tucks under like that. So I've made some. These are one inch by one inch. One inch by, well, maybe three quarters of an inch wide. And all I've done was grab my little, my little vase here. And I'm just making a whole bunch. Again, using up some scraps and making those. Now this one... Um, I made with a little bit, no, this is the pleather. No, this is with a thicker piece of leather. And what I've done for this one, I'm just going to, oh, why not? So this is a little bit thicker leather. And again, I've sewed it into the leather. And then I put an eyelet in here. And then I just added the button to the end. I on a piece of wax linen thread and I did tie a knot in there so that it would hold the button in and then you just loop that through there like that and it holds that and then you wrap it once oh sorry that's not how I do it sorry you pull the button through so the button is right sitting on top of the eyelet and then you just wrap it around once and then I just wrap it around the button because it's wax linen it kind of holds its shape and it holds that a little bit sturdier. So that's another way of doing, adding the eyelet and a little button. And again, it's nice and sturdy with this paper. Um, the softer paper kind of bends and makes this a little more flimsy, but this is a nice sturdy little thing. So I just um, have to add the charm. And all I do is take my awl and the very first hole that I punched through the book, and I'll show you how to do that um, when I open it up. The very top hole inside my first signature, I just punch the hole right through and that's where I put my little jump ring in. So there's another little one that I've made with the real leather. Now the leather is harder to get through with a needle. Um, punching it through the leather, it takes a little bit more um, strength. And after a while my fingers were getting sore so I just use a little elastic band and I wrap that around the needle and so I can pull it through because I'm finding my fingers were getting sore and they were sliding on the needle trying to pull it through that leather. But basically, it's just deciding on the size of journal you want to make. Now the one inch ones, um, because I already had the scrap paper, it was folded in half and I just cut the fold. And then I just put it in my trimmer and I cut it off at one inch strips. So these are my one inch, no these are not one inch strips, these are two inch strips. So I'll just cut a one inch strip and I'll show you real quickly. And I can get three strips out of this. For some reason I had this in. So I can get three one inch strips. And then I was just cutting them at one and a half inches that way. And I can get three out of each strip. And again, I'm just using what I had. So you can um, make any size you want. 
So I was getting three pieces that were at one and a half, so it's one inch by one and a half inch, and then I just fold it in half, like that, again, and again. So I have, um, I usually try and use four. I was using three at the beginning, but they're a little thin, so I use four. And then you'll notice that the paper um, sticks out a little bit on the center. You can just take a sharp knife. Let me just move this stuff out of the way here. You can just take a sharp knife and you can use a ruler and or just eyeball it. And I just cut the little bit of that's sticking out from the first signature like that. So that they're more even on the edge. And again, I'll use four, so I'll do another one for this one. So then I would just take my, let's take one of these that I've already got cut, if I can. <laughs> So I've got my little signature pieces, and this is just with three in each signature. So you've got your little signature pieces, and you just push them all together. And then you just take your leather, and this is a piece of leather, not the pleatherette. Um, and you just wrap it around so you get the size of your journal. And it wraps around the front, like that. And then I normally cut it back so that it's three quarters, it goes three quarters of a, of a flap there. So I'm just going to trim this a little bit more. Like that. Yeah, like that. So I want a little bit of the fold to show and then I, the flap only goes about three quarters of the length around. And then I just use little bowl clips to hold it in place and I punch the holes and I sew it with some wax linen. And then if you want to use the sewn kind, I just put my um, thread through there, put the button on, come back through and tie a knot. And then you just wrap it around and then tuck it. Or you would put the eyelid in there and again put the button on the string and pull it through and wrap it. But sewing these in, and this might be a little harder because I'm using the waxed, uh, these out of the way, the, the real leather here. I'm just going to trim these up a little bit. And this one's a little, got a little bit longer one, so I'm just going to trim it. Just a fun way to use up some scraps that you have on hand. And just trim them up like that. And the last one. Push them all together and then just cut my last piece here. There. So I have my three little signatures and you just make sure they're all squunched together. Make sure they fit in the way you want them. And they're very tiny and very fidgety, so you have, <laughs> if you like working, working with small things like that. And then all I do is take my signatures out, take my first signature and open it to the center. And I'm going to line up my first page with the front of the little booklet. Take one of my binder clips. This one's a good one. And I hold it onto the front. And then I just pull tight on my leather and wrap it around to the other side like that. And I'm just going to put a little clip right there like that. And I'm going to take my punch board here. So I can still see my, my spine there. And I'm just taking my awl and I just do three punches. And I come about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch down from the top and I'm just gonna punch my first hole. Right through, same on the bottom, right through, and then one in the middle. And I'm going to use, this is the black, so let's use this wax linen. And I ordered this a couple of years ago. I got about four rolls of this online. And this was actually from a company that did um, wool. One, two, three, four. 
I'm going to do about a six inch piece. I think it is about six inches. Let me just see. Seven inches. See if that will work. And my needle is right here. And I'm just using a needle with a long eye. And all I do is run my finger along the end there to flatten it out so that it will fit into the needle. And wax linen is kind of thick, so you only need it to go down, see, and then it'll just hold where you want it to go. Now I'm going to have the thread on the outside, so I'm going in the middle. Pull that through, and again, it gets tough right where the thread is, so I use my little elastic to grab a hold of the needle and pull, because my fingers slide <laughs> until I get that first one through. It doesn't squeeze it very well. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little tail. And you can tuck it up under your bull clip if you like. And then I go up to the top, pull it through nice and tight. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, put that one in. So it's just a little pamphlet stitch. Again, it's tough to get through that leather because the whole small, the whole kind of shrinks on the leather. Once you punch it, it shrinks back to its original. So you're going to have a nice long stitch on the outside with your little tail in the middle. And then you're going to go back through that middle one and you want to be on, hold on, I'll show you. My tail should be pointing toward my bulk clip here. So let me just move my tail out of the way. My tail should be that way. Pull that nice and tight, not too tight so you don't rip your paper. But you're going to go back through that middle hole and you're going to be on this side of your thread. So you just want to pull your thread out of the way. So you want to be on the right hand side of your little thread there. Pull that through, pull it nice and tight. Okay, so then I'm going to leave that dangling. I'm going to take that one off and that one off. And then I'm just going to fold that up and grab my next signature. And I'm going to match up my signature papers together like that. So they're nice and even. Put a bowl clip on those. Put this down on my leather and hold it in place and make sure it's even. You want to make sure you're not hanging off the edges. And then you're going to lay this down and you're going to kind of pull this out of the way because you want your holes to go down. You don't want them to go on an angle. You want to be on the other side of that thread. So you want to, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it by looking at my other holes here. So you want to make sure you're going straight down, not on an angle. And through, and then one in the middle, down. So now all I'm going to do is take that thread and I'm going to go in that center hole that's still dangling there and we're going to go up into that second signature. Same thing, you pull it tight, Oops. go up to the top, come on pull through all the way down to the bottom. Try not to stab yourself. I've got many little needle holes in my hand. <laughs> right there. Pull it through nice and tight and then they go up through the middle and this might not have been a long enough piece of thread but there we go. You want to be on the, the outside of your threads. I don't think I made my thread long enough. Like that. And then you're going to put in your third signature. Same thing. Fold that one over. Line up your signatures. Like that. Pull it nice and tight against the leather. Make sure it's even. And then punch your holes. And I try and eyeball it with the ones that are already there. Like that. And the same thing, you're going to go in that middle hole. And I don't think I made my string long enough, so I might not be able to f get this one finished. There we 
There we go. It's through in through there. Up through there. All the way down, and I'm just going to pull this to the end of my thread here, so I can see if I can fin use it all. All the way down to the end hole. There we go. Pull it through. There we go. And then down through that middle hole. And all I'm going to do is, because I've made it too short, I'm going to put my needle in the hole. Oops. I want to make sure I pull that thread over. Go down in that hole. So we want about an 8 inch piece of thread. And I'm just going to re-thread my needle here. Get in there. there we go. And pull it through. There. So you'll end up with your tails. Let's take these little bull clips off. You're going to end up with your little tails. Let me just fold that guy over. And then all I do is tie a knot across the three pieces of thread. And this is really tiny. <laughs> all right. So I managed to get that little knot in there. I had to turn the camera off because it took me about five minutes. <laughs> but I did get a little knot in there, a double knot. So I tied it twice. And then you're going to just trim your tails. Didn't have to trim mine because they were way too short. So there's your little leatherette book like that. And again, I'll probably trim this back a little bit more because I don't want quite that much hanging over. So like that. There. So then I'm just going to take a piece of my wax linen thread and I'm going to make, get a fairly long piece. Let's see. Now for the front closure, we're going to take another piece of very long, this is about 14, 15 inches long. And we're going to flatten that at one end and we're going to pull it through our needle. And we're going to pop a hole in our flap here. Pull that through. And we're going to leave a tail. Not a very long one, just a little tail. And then we're going to take one of these buttons. And we're going to put it through. This is a four hole button. So I'm just going across like that. So I've got going across. And then what I'm going to do is a little test run by closing up my journal. And I've got my nice long tail there. And I'm going to test it for one, two. You see it's way too long, so we're going to shorten it a bit. Let's do that again. Right about there, that's good. So I've already got it through the one side. I'm going to tie a little knot in the back of my button. Then I'm going to come up through the bottom and do the other, the other little string across. So I have my X like that. And then I'm going to try another knot in the back of my button. And using the waxed thread, when you tie this knot, it will hold it in place because it's wax. Got wax on the thread and it just holds it, it won't slide off. Okay. And then you take your needle and you come back through the front on a knot in the same spot, just a little bit over. Pull that through, take your needle off. So you're going to end up with, I'm going to hold that straight like that. So you're going to end up with two tails and your button on the end. So that when you close this, you can go one, two, and then it'll tuck underneath. So I'm just going to do that. And now I just have to tie a knot on this end. So I'm just going to slide it up. And I want my knot to be about there. Make a little mark in the thread so I know where I want my knot to be.
and it has to be about there okay and I'm not going to tighten it really tight I want to make sure it fits again pulling it up approximately there one two three yep okay so now when I pull my knot I want to make sure it goes down toward the bottoms of the strings and I want to tighten nice and tight like that and then just cut off my ends pull it and my hands are a little bit sticky but all right I'm gonna one two and then just tuck your button and if you find the string is too long and you don't like where the button is you can always retie that knot a little shorter but always test it before you cut off the ends of your string in case you need to make it a little longer and you just pop that button underneath like that and there's your little mini journal I'm going to take one of these jump rings and I'll show you really quickly how I put these on so I have a jump ring and they open up this one's a really hard one all right and all I've done is open this back up go into my first signature I take my awl and I go into that top button or that top hole and I'm just gonna punch that hole a little bigger with my awl and then I'm going to slide my jump ring into that hole and the leather you just have to work it out there you go see I've just slid it through that little hole and then you slide your charm on and I'm going to put a different charm on this one I'm going to put a little letter on this one because this one's for a man it's like that and then you just when you use a jump ring you should be turning you should take your jump ring and let me show you this you should never pull apart your jump ring you should take it and twist it sideways like this so you grab your two things and you twist it sideways like that oops I was stuck to my finger instead of pulling them apart because then they don't go back together properly so when you pull them apart like that and then you just twist it back and it stays in the same position so it closes properly and then I just turn that so that that little part where it joins is in the middle of the journal in that hole and I'm going to pull that around and I'm just going to wrap it once twice and tuck the little button in like that and these are great for little inspiration old quotes or words um, something that you want to keep you don't have to put anything inside the journal but they'd be good if you use them for something And then you can just hang it on a little chain. And I thought this one would be more appropriate for a man, a little letter than the little butterfly. And there you go. And again, this one is a one inch by one and an eighth inch, maybe. Not even that. Three quarters of an inch by one inch. So there you go. There's a little mini journal. And I've um, also gone ahead and made a little bit larger one. So this one is actually, I keep turning my ruler upside down. So this is a one and a half inch tall. And I've used the same papers. And the paper is two inches. And then I just fold it. And I think I might add, oh, that goes on the outside. I think I might add another piece of paper in there. These are nice and tall and thin, and this is with the pleatherette, so it's a little bit thinner. It's easier to sew through the pleatherette, so like that. And see, it's a little bit tall and thin, so I'm going to add another page to these, I think, just to give it a little more structure. Let's see if this one's a little thicker. This one's actually with the four pages. This is with three, and this is with the real leather, and this is with the pleatherette. 
So they're a little bit more bulkier. It's harder to get the needle through the, the real leather, but the pleatherite is fine. It works perfectly. The thread goes through no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more of these uh, pages to this one, and then I'm going to sew up this one as well. So I've got a couple of bigger ones as well. And then I've got all my little ones here ready to sew. These are my little one, little mini, mini one inch ones. And they're very tiny. <laughs> so again, you have to enjoy working, and this is the leather, so it's going to take a little bit more to get those needles through. So always go with a little bit more um, thread than you think you need. Uh, you can always throw it away if you don't need it, but start by binding it and then take another piece for the closure part. And then for the eyelet, the same thing. All I did was um, pop an eyelet in there and then take a piece of string put my string through, tie the knots and everything. So you leave it open like that. And then you just pop these ends through the eyelet and pull it all the way down so the button is sitting on top of the eyelet like that. And then you just wrap your string around and then you can wrap it around the button when you bring it around because the wax thread will stay whichever way you put it. <laughs> Anyway, that's just a quick little craft. This is what I've been working on. Hopefully I'll fiddle up my jar. I have tons of this turquoise um, pleatherette. Um, I may put together some little kits maybe for five little journals and some of this paper. Seeing how I have tons of it here. <laughs> um, I'll cut all the strips and put all the pieces together. If anyone would like to purchase them, I can put a couple in my Etsy shop. Um, you can email me if you're interested in receiving a couple of them. Um, with the mail, with the post right now, I, I have been mailing out a couple things to people for paper, uh, for journal swaps and stuff, and it's been taking quite a long time to get there. Um, I'm waiting for something that's coming from Alberta, and it's been over 10 days now, and I still have not received it. So things are taking a little bit longer, so you have to be patient. Uh, I believe the post office is, you know, they're down employees and they are starting to post only necessities, necessities first. Um, so when you find a letter or something like that, I think they kind of put that off into the slower mail. But anyway, it is eventually getting there. It's just taking a little bit longer to arrive. But if you are interested in purchasing any of this to make some little journals, please let me know and I can ship you out a little package with some of the pleatherette and some of the paper and be happy to send them out so that you have something small to make. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully we'll, we'll keep in touch, stay safe, and keep creating. Bye for now.